Alright guys, we are back on the next episode of Let's Play Brave Fancy Musashi. Now, where we last left off, I couldn't get through because this guy wouldn't let me th get through. But we have to get by there to get the dog. So what we have to do is go to sleep. So you push the select button and you can see the icon change to the moon. Hold R1, L, R1, and go to sleep. And watch how time fast goes by. Now remember that pink thing I went to earlier in the last episode? You'll see what, that ha what happens with that at night time. If you ever see those, make sure you get them because they're important. Lo and behold, he's no longer there, so we can go past there. But before I do that, I'm going to go over here and get this thing. Wait, oh wait, I think it has to be midnight first. All right, let me sleep a little bit longer. Come on, come on, come on with it, come on. I think it's dark enough actually. Okay, there we go. Get up, get up. Stop sleeping. All right. There it is. Now catch this thing. If I can catch it, if it stops moving around. Urgh. And God dang it! Get over. There we go. A longevity berry gives you an extra 25% HP. Oh, 25 HP, not 25%. But you know what I mean. All right, we got that. I just wanted to get that. Um, there is another one around here, but we can't get that till later. So we will continue with the story, and we will go in here. And we will kick some butt. I love the music in Twin Peak Mountain, by the way, so I hope you guys enjoy it. This is a fairly simple fetch the dog quest. It's really not that hard. Yeah, okay, let me show you the stats. I can go in there. Actually, I think it tells you how to level the stuff up if I go over here. Let's see here. Yeah, as you defeat enemies, the body increases. Your mind goes up as you travel. Okay, that's what I got the confusion. So just. You'll be doing a lot of traveling anyway, so just make sure you move, you move a lot. And Used to get for using, like I said before, use fusion alumina, you'll get your HP that way and stuff. So, right now I'm a turd. Awesome. Okay, there's something blocking our way there. I tried to kill this thing. Later on, you'll get uh, techniques that allow you to use alumina and fusion at the same time, which makes it easier to level. But this is our first bench field right Ninja here. Field. Better get him out! Yeah. So after I have to free this guy, I'll get 5 DP for freeing Soldier Larvick. Nice name. Really? Knight Larvick? Soldier and Knight. Don't you guys have, like, is that your first name? Yeah, and it maxes out your BP too. I forgot about that. And hey, there's a dog over there with a bone. Okay, so that thing's blocking our way. I can suck it. Yeah. Wait, is that what? Oh. Yeah. Well, we can't technically kill that thing, so what we have to do is shrink. God! What the hell are you doing, man? Are you serious? Alright. Assimilate this, and you'll get the ability shrink! God! You guys should know what shrink does. You shrink stuff with it. I don't have to explain that. There you go. Boom. Just shrink. Okay, shrink. And jump, and you squash it like a bug. Get out of here with that shit. I'll kill you. Get out of here with that. Why is this not working? Do you? All right, you know what? You're pissing me off here. This must be the mutt the mayor was talking about. It is. Pick the dog up basically by pushing square, and you can't hurt the dog. Square and triangle. Sweet. All right, let's go. Let's do this. Sometimes, like, yeah, you just gotta be real close, otherwise you hit the dog. But I don't think if you hit it, I don't think it really does anything if you hit it. So. Fairly simple thing. Just keep tossing it. What are you doing? Come on. If you push triangle when you grab them, if you push when you grab them and you push triangle, it doesn't launch them up straight up in the air instead of um, like launching them forward. So if you just want to launch the enemy straight in the air and just hit triangle when you pick them up. Oh my god, you move slow when you do that. Alright, come on. There we go. Jeez. Lazy dog. Couldn't even jump over the damn water and get here yourself. Hey, wait! Oh, well. 
Now that the mud is back, I can ask the mayor about the five scrolls. Yeah, if the mayor's awake, it's freaking 5.30 in the freaking morning, I doubt he'll be up. Lazy bum. Let's go. I think the... No, it's not even open. I think the only thing open right now is the end. I could be wrong about that, though, too. Oh, no, the end's open. The end's always open. Alright, yeah, that's right. I wonder if there's any water in here. We got H2O! Cold, tasty, and refreshing. You can never go wrong with water. It's good for you. Alright, back to the mayor's house. He's probably sleeping right now. Yeah, I thought so. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to sleep ourselves. Okay, yeah, he should be up now, I think. Thumbs out. Are you serious? Are you really that lazy? Come on, dude. What the hell? Alright, come on. Yeah, you should be up. People are walking around town now. There we go. Good morning. Now, can you tell me about the five scrolls? <laughs> of course you don't. All right, so this guy over here is locked up. I forget why, but um. You'll have to get him food and water, which I already have, thank God. So yeah, let's go talk to this dude. Uh, I actually like his boy. voice. Yeah, it's a good boy. You alright? You saved my boy? Oh, thanks, oh no man. problem, dude. This is I what really I do. Appreciate it. But I actually had to do you it for the story, so don't. And yeah. some bread? Have Amazingly, I have that for you already. Mm, I could be a dick and give, not give you food, but... I'm a nice guy, so here, here you go. Here you go, pal. Well, don't just show me the food, man. Oh, <sighs> man, you're being rude. Oops, sorry. Don't worry, pal. I'll feed it to you. Jeez, That's what I'm saying. Chill out, man. I'm over here getting you food and bread, and you over here yelling at me. <clears throat> burping in my face. <sighs> Much better. Hi, John. I'm nice John, you. the treasure hunter. I'm Musashi. I'm Musashi. What's a treasure hunter? <laughs> a treasure hunter. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, to you put idiot. it simply, I you searched idiot. the world dumb, dumb looking idiot. for treasure. I experienced life. Oh, you know, really? I do too. I, I am, you know, the legendary <laughs> brave Fenton Musashi, so, so you're apparently just a thief, then. I've done <laughs> something what in the past that I just don't remember for some reason. Well, wait a sec, Musashi. I want to show you my gratitude. Can you tell I'll me tell about the five scrolls? But... Only if you oh, set me free. Of course, another freaking quest. Okay, Please, I'll do it. My man. Yeah, whatever. Well, I left the key to the stocks in a grave in Meandering Forest, cause I knew I'd get meandering out. Meandering Forest. Okay, so I should. I'm surprised it's not like um. Yeah. <laughs> but freaking a nasty spell thing. has or, been well, cast no, in Meandering a Forest. Thing. Find the yeah, let me guess. I got it. Oh, so Leno. Take my boy Leno. Dude, nice what? name for a dog. I'll That's great, Mutt. Something better. Well, a like few days ago, I sent him to go get the hunter key. or something. I but he went to Twin Peak Mountain. But no worries. Once he's in Meandering Forest. It's Wait, if if, if 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 the secret's so in, in the Meandering Forest, Leno, forest why would he go to Twin Peak? Dog. Is he that retarded? But he'll run away if he gets hurt. All so right, I got you, dude. All right. But I'm not gonna go do that right now. I'm a dog's bodyguard? Whatever. So I go in the Fairly direction simple task. When I first played this game, um... That's it. So I, just, I guess I just not, did not comprehend forest. what I was reading. And I got lost in the forest. It's real simple though. You just wait for him to figure out where to go and then you follow him. But we're not gonna do that right away. What we're gonna do is we're gonna actually go to the end and like, go to sleep. So, yeah. You don't like it? Too bad. After we say hi to the end person. Welcome. You know we oh, to... staying here by yourself? Yeah, I am. Yeah, I'm Musashi. I'm on a journey. Yeah, because I'm cool. How yeah. admirable for such a small child. You must be about the same age as my daughter, Mint. Yeah. Anyways, okay. make yourself at home. Okay, thank you. 
I'll make myself at home. I'm going to actually sleep. I'll take that. We eat. We don't dine. We don't. We don't sleep like poor people. We don't. But we don't sleep like rich people either. And then we will save it because I need to save the game. Yes, overwrite. Let's chat for a little bit. Why can't I chat with them? What the heck? All right, whatever. All right, so we'll stop it here. Um. The next episode, we'll be going to Meandering Forest, Meandering Forest to find the secret, which is basically probably the key that he needs to get himself free. And then hopefully he'll tell us about the freaking five scrolls, or will we have to go on another quest? I don't know. But we'll find out. Thanks for watching. Take care, guys.